Good morning guys, how are we doing today? I am so excited to share with you a project that we need to do. I have totally neglected this side of my, what should we call it, of my yard. Um, the intention was to grow some things back here that did not like a lot of sun. But as you know, life happens and some things just get neglected unintentionally so today i'm gonna spend a little time back here trying to move some stuff weed some stuff out add some new stuff in so take a look and um i am going to be dealing with this today i don't know if you remember in i i lay these blocks like a year ago and um, the intention was to grow up back here and have it looking lovely and beautiful and then i'm like wait a minute that's not what's happening so i am back to the drawing board and my intention is to grow successfully so stay with me and see what happens guys here we are with the finished product i have added some marigold some joseph coat some um shrimp tail some zinnia um i've also added a little bit of herb and of course we had so i have my this is um sage um the flowers zinnia we have had cuban oregano because i love the you know the design and the white on there add some just some wild cocoa plant and some aloe vera plant and on this side lobster claw um i don't know what this one is but um that one another another different species of cocoa or i call it just the cocoa plant because some of them i guess you can eat and some of them you cannot eat but um, this is a cocoa plant. And then we have right here, yellow hibiscus. So this, even though this is my back, and this is just where we come to kind of use the sink and, you know, it's fenced off. I really wanted it to, to have a nice little look and feel, even though it's kind of, you know, blocked off and even sometimes neglected. I wanted to make sure that I am using up all the spaces in my back and front yard. I don't know as you look around what space you could utilize, whether that be inside or outside, instead of thinking, you know, like what, what you wish you had a bigger yard or a bigger house or a bigger budget or a bigger, how can you make 
what you have work. I wish I had different kids, different husband, different friends. What, what can you work? Look again, and I'm not saying if it's unhealthy in some cases, can't change your kids. <laughs> your kids are your kids. But in other areas, you know, what can you look around and see? How can you have a different mindset or a different approach so you can utilize and be good steward of what God already gave to you instead of thinking that there is something else or someone else you need? Does that make sense? As you continue to grow, let's not forget that God has given us all we need to live a godly life. Thank you for watching and continue to share like and subscribe it does a lot for us it helps us to reach further and to do more thank you and it is such an excited journey to grow and growing with you folks